Craven clone hunts mutant Wolverine. What happens? Both are great hunters. Both are formidable opponents. They face off in a shadow room construct of the Savage Lands. There are no safety protocols. Between dinosaurs, volcanoes and the system crashing, the battle between Craven and Wolverine is going to be cataclysmic. Hit like and subscribe for more superhero secrets. He might look like Craven the Hunter, but he's actually a clone. The original Craven is brought back from the dead and forces the High Evolutionary to create 87 clones. Craven teaches the boys his hunting skills and sends them on a quest. Only one returns. The last son of Craven slays his brothers and when confronting Spider-Man, is tricked into ending his own father's life. In doing so, the last son of Craven takes on the mantle of his father and becomes Craven. Life as a clone leaves Craven uncertain of his purpose. He searches for meaning in the hunt. After facing a polar bear in the furthest reaches of the North Pole, Craven finds the head of Deadpool in the stomach of the bear. Realizing that mutants are the most powerful beings on the planet, Craven goes in search of the most dangerous mutant, which leads him to the most vicious veteran of combat in the X-Men. The brutal and unyielding Wolverine. Using the Shadow Room, Craven creates an environment for the hunt. Disabling safety protocols and increasing the danger levels, everything is deadly. This is not merely a hunt, this is a fight for survival. Craven leaves a trail he knows that Wolverine will follow and gives him a challenge. Wolverine will either be prey or predator. Craven sets a Tyrannosaurus Rex after Beast and lets Wolverine know that he fully intends to hunt Beast. Wolverine will have to stop Craven, but in doing so, will make himself vulnerable. Craven strikes first with a spear after having taken command of the dinosaur. Beast fights back. Using the spear, Beast attacks the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Craven is thrown from the back of the dinosaur and Beast escapes. Craven turns his attention to Wolverine. The hunt is on. Wolverine makes his way through the savage lands. He makes short work of one dinosaur, but is up against a pack of raptors. It's five against one. Wolverine strikes first. He uses his claws and cuts down two raptors. The other three move in. Wolverine attacks. It looks like he has taken out the biggest raptor, but the shadow room is crashing. The volcano is erupting and the dinosaurs are transforming into even more dangerous versions. Wolverine fights off the pterodactyl as Beast has trouble keeping on his feet and is captured by Craven. Wolverine lunges towards Craven. Using Ebola's, Craven ties up Wolverine's claws. With Wolverine off balance, Craven strikes with his knife. Wolverine catches the knife in his side and goes down. With a ground attack, Wolverine attempts to knock Craven's feet from under him. The hunter is ready and is flipping out of danger, until Wolverine's quick reflexes strike and catch Craven in the chest with a vicious attack of his claws. Both Craven and Wolverine have drawn blood. Wolverine cuts through the bolas, rips the knife out of his side and throws it back. As Craven catches the knife, Wolverine jumps, throwing Craven off balance. Craven is beaten and goads Wolverine into finishing the job. Wolverine withdraws his claws. He takes no joy in slaughter and he does not consider it a prize. Wolverine walks away. He isn't going to finish off Craven, but that doesn't mean that Craven is safe. A Tyrannosaurus Rex closes in on Craven. He is going to need to fight for his life. Omega Red saves Beast, but Deadpool is in trouble. The wooden body Deadpool was using is destroyed by the lava. Baby Deadpool jumps clear, but needs Wolverine to carry him to safety. The hunter and the mutant appear equally matched. Wolverine wins because he is fighting for something greater than Craven. Craven is a clone. He has been traveling the world looking for purpose. Looking to test himself and looking for a challenge. He faces a polar bear and a celestial. He hunts the first and is ignored by the second. Both are a test that he passes, but neither provide Craven with the sense of self he needs. On the other hand, Wolverine is struggling within the confines of Krakoa. He is frustrated by events he cannot control and forces bigger than him. After fighting his way through the savage lands and saving Beast, Wolverine is reminded of the need for conflict and his own success, but understands that while inflicting harm is sometimes necessary, he does not desire it and he does not consider it a prize. Wolverine is striving to be a better person while Craven is still struggling to understand who he is. What do you think? Wolverine won this battle. Do you think Wolverine got lucky or is he better? What do you think Craven is going to do next? What would you like to see happen between Wolverine and Craven? Thanks for joining us to the end. We'd love to hear what you have to say. Leave your comment below.